one day one person came to Buddha. He had lot of question and he was very much in tension because of his question in his mind. He was going here and there and he had questions like what is soul, what is spirit, what happens after death, who has created the universe, where is heaven and where is hell, God is there or not, whether what is written in the books. But he was not able to get the answers to all the questions. When he went to Buddha, then Buddha was sitting surrounded by many people. Buddha was helping the villagers. The villagers used to come to him on day to day for problems and ask the solution for those problems. And Buddha used to solve those day to day problems. For a long time, that person kept standing and listening and seeing this incident. And he was getting more worried and thinking, what is the benefit of Buddha solving these problems of the people, general problem of the people? Because he thought that Buddha will be a person who will be sitting and meditating all day, but he is solving the problems of the people in a way that the sorrow of other people are the sorrow of Buddha's own. After some times when people went off, that person went to Buddha and asked, Lord Buddha, Lord Buddha, why you are busy in this worldly things? Why you solve the problems of day-to-day -day life of people? Why you waste your time? Buddha thought for a second, smiled and said, I have knowledge, but I am a human being. What is the use of that knowledge that is so much egoistic and proud, that, that is self-centered and doesn't think about other people other than self. There is no use of such knowledge and wisdom. That wisdom is very limited. That is not the real wisdom. Real wisdom is to help other people and solve the problems of other people. That day, that person came to know that how great the Buddha is and he became his follower. And he also understood that there is no need to ask any question because question will be answered automatically on this path. And that's the way he got this understanding. So we can learn from the story that no matter how big success you want, if you don't include other people, helping other people, then that will that success will never go at peak. If it is self-centered, you it is like impossible. If it is self-centered, any act which is self-centered, if you don't include any people, other people, then it will fail for sure. So no matter what, you want to be successful in meditation, always remember that you have to help other people once you get the truth, or if you want to be successful in any worldly thing also, you need to think that you are doing this not only to help yourself, but to help other people. And then only the real and big success will come in your life.